G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, I'm going to tell you about Smart Audio. Yes, it's been around for a little while, but I still get a lot of questions. People are confused how to set it up. Don't worry, it is super easy. It is one wire, one setting on Betaflight that we're going to take care of, and then you are ready to rock and roll, and Smart Audio lets you do some really, really cool stuff like change your channels, change your bands, you know, change your VTX power levels, all that sort of stuff within your radio while you're out in the field. So if you and some friends are getting together and say, hey, your channel's bleeding onto mine, maybe we need to mix and match, switch it up, you can do that easily and then you should have no dramas it's much simpler than pressing the buttons and all that other rigmarole so smart audio especially if you're going to a race is an absolute must now what we're going to be looking at today this is my power build i've got the ultralight build right here i've also got a power build that you guys might see on the bench you can see oh and i better turn my radio off excuse me having too much fun in here uh, we've been building these up, so this is a bit of a guide for this one as well, but the principle is going to be the same whether you're using this build or some other builds out there, whether you're building your own, it is very, very similar stuff. Now, a little card should pop up here. That's like my little playlist or build guide if you want to build one of these 2019 races at home, but let's kick it off. I need to turn my soldering iron on. I'm using the TS100 because that is just a rad little soldering iron. And the VTX, I'm gonna link the VTX that I'm using and also the stack down below, but even really cheap VTXs nowadays have smart audio. Something special about this one, actually, while I wait for that to heat up, it's actually got a built-in DVR module, so I can record some DVR as well. So just a nice little extra, and it won't get that static in there that's coming out of the goggles. So this is ready to rock and roll. Bit of solder on the end. Now this is actually already wired in because I did this in my build video, but I'm just gonna take it off so I can explain to you guys, then I'll put it back on. Alrighty. So on our board right here, so this is my VTX board, this little pad, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen if you can't see it. It says TBS, now that's where we're gonna hook up our smart audio. Sometimes I'll say S audio or you know signal, don't get it confused with your video. So that's just where you need to heck hook up your little wire. Not all VTXs have it, so make sure you're getting one that says smart audio or tramp audio or something like that. This one says TBS, so it makes it very, very clear. And then on our board, I'm gonna be hooking mine up to TX3, now T stands for transmit so essentially that's how I remember it anyway that TX is going to be sending out a signal to our to our VTX so that way it can change the channels it can go to what we set it to so all we need to do is solder it on this one's pretty easy because it's all nicely labeled I'll put a little picture on the screen as well bit of a bit of a manual and that's it that's all it is when it comes to soldering in your VTX that's how easy it is, literally one extra wire. Normally we've got our ground video and signal, sorry, normally we've got our ground voltage and signal and then we just need to add in our smart audio wire. So now I can put this back on my drone and uh, then we can jump over, have a look at Betaflight and I'll show you how it's set up in Betaflight. So let's go do that. Have a look at Betaflight now. Right here, so I've opened up Betaflight. I've plugged in my drone via the micro USB. We're gonna click connect right here. And then it's super easy. We're gonna go over to our ports. Now, if you haven't set up your receiver, you're gonna to need to do that as well. A little receiver tab should pop up in the left-hand corner or in the description or something like that on a full video. That's super easy as well. But right here, we sold it up our uh, VTX to UART3. So we're gonna go across here, click TBS Smart Audio, save and reboot and that is how simple it is now look if that doesn't work for you in what you're actually using i would recommend maybe you've got it on a different uart try it on a uart you know maybe on uart 6 depending on what's on your board and where you've soldered it to but i know for a fact that on this titan board it is going to be set up to uart 3 so i'm going to save and reboot and now we can jump over if i plug my drone in and we can look at a bit of the dvr Alrighty, so then finally, here we go. I've plugged my drone in. I'm going to go into the, into the I guess, the OSD menu, and I think that's pitch all the way to the top, throttle to the middle, and yaw to the left all at the same time. Going to go down to the features. Here we go, smart audio, and then this is what I use it for most of the time. So you can change your band if you want to, fat shark band or whatever. Change your, your channels if you need to by going left and right on the sticks, and you can also set your power level to whatever you need to set your power level to. Then go set. And actually, just to prove, I'm going to put it on, look at this. So let's pretend we're going to go to race band channel four. We're going to go set because I'm recording on channel one at the moment. So we go set. And then look at that, it's changed to that channel, which is why it's disappeared because these goggles uh, that we're recording on are set on R1. So super, super easy stuff. So there it is. There's my guest. Quick little guide on how to set up smart audio. One little thing I want to point out, you know, some VTXs, they use the tramp protocol instead of the TBS one. So you just need to select that in the drop down on Betaflight. But other than that, it is super easy to set up. Don't be worried. I know it can sound confusing, but once you wire it up to that UART with one extra wire, 
Click that bit on Betaflight, you are ready to rock and roll and it is so much better than pushing the little dip switches and buttons and sometimes, you know, trying to figure out what's going on, counting LEDs. That can be a nightmare and if you're flying with friends, they're gonna get frustrated pretty quickly if you're taking forever when they just wanna go out and fly. You can set it in two seconds with your smart audio stick commands on your OSD. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Definitely subscribe for more FPV related content. If you wanna find out how we build these two, you know the power version, or uh, we've also got the ultralight build right here. A little card should pop up here, or a bit of a video. That's where we go through the entire build process and I'm teaching you guys how to set it up. Setting up the smart audio, setting up your receiver, pretty much updating Betaflight, reversing your props, everything you need to get flying. So that video, the video, that video should be up there. Subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying.